Here is my sample project for the upcoming multimedia assignment. First, a little bit of background. In 1851, it took several days to make approximately two and a half tons of steel. But with the creation and invention of the Bessemer process, with the Bessemer converter shown here, that process was made much quicker. The Bessemer process is named after Henry Bessemer, shown here. However, the first person to have achieved the process of converting steel using a Bessemer converter was this man here, William Kelly. Some refer to the process as the Kelly Bessemer process. The ingenuity of the Bessemer process used hot air to be blown into the furnace during the iron melting process. This allowed for the carbons to be filtered out, which would create for a much stronger steel. The diagram shown here is a side view and cross section of the Bessemer converter. This process allowed for three to five tons of iron to be converted into high strength steel in as little as under 20 minutes, a process that used to take days beforehand. There was a huge and growing demand for this lower cost and higher strength steel. It would be used to replace and build new railroads, bridges, and girders. This high demand for steel would allow many factories to grow. In 1870, the average iron and steel firm had 100 workers. By 1900, that number would be over 400. Lastly, we should talk of the importance and impacts of the Bessemer process, which allowed for the price of steel to lower drastically and the strength of steel to increase vastly. Buildings were now able to be built much higher as skyscrapers developed and railroads were much stronger and efficient. Intense economic growth and competition occurred and great disparities of wealth grew. Andrew Carnegie, shown here, is arguably the richest American in history and was the largest producer of steel in the world. Here are the sources that I used for my project.